What's up, everyone? Diego, Eric, how are you today? Doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I, I, I think people are probably watching saying like, wow, Jeremy, Diego, and Eric for this announcement. <laughs> they brought out the announced. big guns to announce the Mythic Legion's quilt. <laughs> I mean, exactly. That is the big surprise. People want to be comfy. We've heard your voice. The quilt is here. Yeah, that's a heavy lift. You, you got to get a few few guys out for that one. Yes, the, the, the Mysteries of Mythos has a really nice ring, but the quilt of Mythos is just a, it is a wonderful thing to behold. <laughs> the fabric that brings us all together. It you know? does. So in all seriousness, guys, thank you very much. Um, everybody, thank you for joining us today. We are finally going to reveal the mystery behind this little teaser that we did here. So we revealed this, uh, it was about two weeks now, I think, Diego, was when we posted this set of squares and people started, you know, guessing what it could be. Um, what were some of your favorite guesses, guys, that you saw people say for this, besides the quilt, of course? Um. Well, one of my favorite guesses was, you know, showing us playing D and D and all that. I was like, oh, that'd be fun, like something like that. But yep. you know, that's because I'm a role player at heart. <laughs> a lot of guesses. A lot of guesses for the game. Yeah, that, that was definitely a good one. I I, I did like the quilt as well, um, just because I do think that's actually a viable thing. So <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes, yeah ideas can come from anywhere so this time next year we might be doing one who knows you heard it here first <laughs> um so then of course we posted this and there was a lot of speculation is it a pixelated image what could it be and then we changed it over to this so we added all of these faction logos and i loved how creative people were getting with their guesses like the fact that if you notice in that top row, there are two Noble Bear logos side by side, but then in the far, you know, the bottom right corner, there are two Noble Bear logos up and down. People were suggesting that when the faction logos are side by side, it's a long item like a horse. Um, and then if it's up and down, it's a tall item like an ogre or a troll. So people were really, really reading into these teasers, trying to, uh, you know, figure out exactly what we had going. I mean, you know, the fan theories just are an endless source of entertainment. Um, and we love seeing it because everyone's so creative and comes up with way cooler ideas yeah. than, than, than and we're like, wow, that, that, that'd be a really clever idea. <laughs> Unfortunately, you give us too much credit sometimes. That's funny, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so Schmurmer Berber, is here saying that we're trying not to say the word dragon. Of course, a lot of people did suggest that somehow these 36 squares and these 10 faction logos equated to a dragon of some kind. Um, not so much. So let's explain to you what we're doing here. Let's give you a little bit of a reveal. If we pull back the curtain on this, we see actually 36 Mythic Legions characters behind those squares. So I heard a bunch of people suggesting, is it going to be a 36 figure wave? It is not going to be a 36 figure wave. Eric, after what you went through with those first two Kickstarters, I think it's fair to say that there will never be a 36 figure wave again, correct? Never again. Never again. What we are going to do, however, is release the Mysteries of Mythos, these are going to be some blind box surprise packages that are going to go on sale next Monday. So let's explain exactly what is happening here. Um, as part of the 10-year anniversary of Mythic Legions, this is 2024 is the 10 years of Mythic Legions. What an incredibly cool accomplishment. What a milestone. So as part of that, what we are doing, this is not a vote of any kind. We did a small run of a number of older figures, some very, very cool figures that really needed to get back out there in collections, um, but that traditionally may not have fared very well in All-Stars votes. You know, a lot of, you know, Advent of Decay 2.0 style figures. Um, additionally, Cookie cleaned out the warehouse and found a whole bunch of warehouse lines, a whole bunch 
of figures that we had previously thought were sold out that we can now add into this. So what we thought would be cool is, hey, let's make these available. We've we've always brought um, you know older figures to shows, and as much as we love doing that, and we continue doing that when we can, bringing figures to shows eliminates anyone that can't get over to the shows obviously so we wanted to do something like we just did with the in stock sale that would allow a wider range of the legionnaires access to this and we loved the idea as for the anniversary doing these blind boxes that were something old and something new so the something old are these chase figures that you see right here um the idea of doing them as a blind box was simply because there are some figures on this list that are warehouse finds that we have less than a case of. Diego, I'm sure you see this all the time. When we do one of these in-stock sales and we have items that are that limited, if you don't log on in the first, you know, immediately, you miss out on some of those lower quantity figures. And we've always seen people who get uh, cart jacked because something that's in their cart sells out before they can check out. And while they're trying to update their cart, other figures go out of sale. That's so frustrating to prevent that here. Cause that would have absolutely happened. If we just put these figures up by what you want, it would have, that's what it would have happened by doing it as a blind box, whether you log in in the first seconds or you log in an hour later or four hours later, assuming there's still some, you have just as much chance to get any of these figures, including some of the ones that we have the least of. Um, I think, you know, speaking as a fan myself, that's something that I think is pretty cool here. Yeah, we we wanted to do something that, you know, equalized the playing field for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And it's it could be stressful when you're I, listen, we've all been there. We've all been there when a drops about to happen, okay. hitting refresh, add to cart and you know, the panic, the panic and then if you don't get something, ah, you, there's a sting. Yep. But yep. we wanted to make sure that, you know, everyone kind of has an equal opportunity and with some of these finds there's not a lot of them some of those characters it's it's low it's single digits um on some of them but you know instead of creating a sense of frustration we're giving you a chance and no matter what you're gonna get uh, a cool figure you're well, yes you're really gonna Absolutely. get two cool figures but you know jeremy will expand on that yeah, so I see some questions here that I'm going to answer in a bit. But yeah, so something old, something new. In addition to, you're guaranteed to get one of the Chase figures on this list here, plus you're going to get a newer figure from a more current wave. So you, each blind box is going to include two figures, one from this Chase list, plus an additional newer figure of our choice. It's going to be $75 for the blind box. So that's the same price as these were normally at retail. We're not increasing the price of these because of the rarity of some of these figures. Some of the figures on this list sell on the secondary market for well over a hundred dollars. We don't, when stuff sells for that much money, we don't make any more money on it. We want to get these in fans hands Um, these small runs. These warehouse finds will hopefully allow that to happen. So for $75, you get something old, something new. And I love that sense, Eric, of kind of seeing the history of the line in these blind boxes. If you look at this list of chase figures here, the fact that we've got Carpathius from the very first wave, um, we've got Sir Godfrey. When was the last time Sir Godfrey from 1.5 showed up anywhere? Tador from Covenant of Shadow. And then a number of figures from Advent of Decay, an incredibly important wave to the line. Um, there's some heavy hitters in that wave, some heavy hitters in this graphic right here. So getting some of that stuff from those early waves, along with something newer from like an All-Stars 5, I think that's really going to show, you know, kind of the breadth of this wave over that 10 year anniversary. Absolutely. I, you know, for us, thinking back to Advent of Decay, I still remember when Advent of Decay was the new thing. And that was, you know, that had all the new tooling and that was our big step forward. Uh, mm -hmm. That's an old line now. Yeah. <laughs> like it's, I, you know, so I sometimes I forget some of the figures in it even. Um, so, yeah, I think, um, you know, as, as we're in this, this age with the line now where we're adding so much new tooling and, and, and just pushing the limits as much as we are, it, it is cool to, to go 
back in time a little bit and you know let fans revisit these figures um yeah and it's like you mentioned like a lot of these have been kind of lost in in the mix because they're you know they're not quite bubbling up to the top enough in all-star votes so they haven't really had that chance to to make you know a, a second run um so this is a great opportunity for for folks to just you know check out some of these figures that unless you've been you know willing to, to pay heavy on the aftermarket um you know that that you know were kind of unattainable for a while some comments that I want to bring up that I love is we've got this one here from Ben K say going to be a lot of trading in the cabal once these are in hand. And I love that. That's yeah. one of the things we talked about that. If you remember all the way back, Eric, to the original Hagnon, right? The idea that Hagnon was going to come with either a blue or a green glow and you wouldn't know it. I remember there being talk about like, well, people will be trading it in the community. Like, Oh, I got an extra green. Does anyone have a blue? Well, we all know the story of Hagnon, or if you don't, there's an article we just posted last week on the website about it. Go give it a read. Um, that idea of the community trading these is something that we've always loved. I, I really dig that as well. Eric Miller, one of the mythic enablers saying, I can't wait for the trade posts. I can't wait either. I think that's going to be a really fun part of this as well. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a really exciting time in the cabal just seeing everyone with you know opening their boxes and not knowing what they're gonna get yep. uh and you know just everyone coming together and making sure everybody's happy you know that's a uh, that's one of the best things about our our community is that it is a community yeah um we we have a excellent fan base you know all the legionnaires out there that that support us support each other and mm -hmm. you know it it really is a uh, it it's heartening, you know, rather than disheartening. It, yeah, it, it, it makes you feel good about, you know, being part of this and having everybody involved. And there's a lot of new fans too. We've actually got simple tricks and nonsense here in the chat. And they posted wow. for someone like me who has none of these, this is a win no matter who I get. And that's another point is there are so many fans that have come in in the last few years that you look at, an array like this and there's a lot of people that are like i need everyone on this list this is really going to be exciting um i did see some comments people asking is there going to be a limit on this um there is no limit on these you can buy as many as you want we do have quite a few to sell i kind of got burnt a little bit guys with that valiant knight in the last sale because we had so many to sell and they went so quickly that the legionnaires as they tend to do surprise the heck out of me with their support so i don't anticipate that they are going to be any less supportive of this um but we do have quite a few to sell and there will not be any limits and that that's an important thing because we're going to talk about that something cool about limits and shipping in just a moment um but one other thing we haven't mentioned the date yet this will be next monday so this isn't something we're doing today. We wanted to give you a little bit of advance notice next Monday, which is April 22nd at 11 a.m. Eastern time. And we're going to do all of our social posts after this live stream is done with this information at 11 a.m. is when we are going to do this blind box sale. So in that sale, you will have access to these blind boxes. All of these chase figures could be included. You're guaranteed to get one. $75 per blind box. In terms of shipping, Diego, we're doing something special on shipping as well. You're the, you're the shipping guy. You're the one that handles all this stuff. You meet with our um, shipping partners and everything. We've been working behind the scenes on something pretty cool. And we're, we're trying it out for the first time with this set because it's a really unique kind of sale. Tell us a little bit more about what else we're doing. So we're trying something new this time. Since this is new territory all around, a new kind of sale, a new kind of way of bringing back old figures, we're going to do something new with shipping. And that is, for the first time ever, we're going to offer a flat rate shipping of $9.99 for U.S. customers. Unfortunately, not international, but all U.S. customers, it'll be flat rate, $9.99 shipping. And that's no matter how many boxes you order in a single order. 
So you can get one box, it'll be $9.99. You can get 20 boxes, it could be $9.99. Uh, we we're trying this out to see, you know, how it will work. Um, maybe to implement it in the future, maybe not. Um, this is an excellent opportunity to do it because all of the figures are standard figure sizes. And really, yeah, when we have waves or like the last in stock sale where there's figures of all different sizes, it, it makes it a little hard to negotiate something flat rate like this because yeah. the price is just very so greatly. Um, yeah. this time we, you know, I, I, I talked to a couple of our reps at various carriers and, uh, you know, really worked hard on trying to get uh, a price that could get us these figures to you for one flat rate price, no matter how much you guys get. Yeah, that's cool. And, you know, to address the international part, we also worked on that. And unfortunately, you know, as much variety as there is in terms of rates in the U.S., the minute you go out of the U.S., it's like the Wild West. There, there's so many variables, so many differences, so much price disparity for different countries that we simply could not come up with something that made sense for international where we could do something like that. That wasn't either a really high price to mitigate the risk or just way too risky. So unfortunately for international customers, we weren't able to do something like this flat rate. It's certainly something we continue to explore, but for US customers to Diego's point, whether you buy one mystery box, two mystery boxes, three mystery boxes, or 30 mystery boxes, wherever you are in the US, one of the options at checkout is gonna be that flat rate shipping. So add as many as you want, pile on these orders, but it's within one order. If you order five mystery boxes in one order and in five in another, we cannot combine those. There's no combining of those because we're gonna be shipping these out essentially immediately, which is another really cool aspect of this. Eric, as you know, someone that's obviously been around since the beginning and seen all of those, you know, early Kickstarters and waiting for shipping. And, you know, even now with these pre-orders, we reveal it. There's so much buildup. We're so excited. We reveal it, but then there's the wait to get them done and get them in hand. These type of immediate gratification orders are not only great for the fan base, but we love them as well. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, we've, we've talked about this before, you know, it's for us, the weight for these, these big pre-order waves, it, you know, it is, is very frustrating as well. Like, like we obviously want to get it out and, uh, you know, have people enjoy these, these figures as, as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, when we hit delays and all that, it's, you know, it's heartbreaking on, on our end. Um, so this this sort of thing is is so much fun for us to to watch and you know see reaction and things like that and so you know between like the the in stock sale and uh, you know this this sale that was uh, technique their method that we're trying out with this figura things like that um, you know, we're getting a nice mix now where we've got the pre-order waves that allow us to invest in, in the new tooling. Um, but then we've got these, these, you know, quick order release schedules that, um, you know, hopefully not only are a lot of fun for people to, to be part of, but also, you know, kind of help with the weight on those larger waves. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So there's a couple questions here that we can address because there's some good questions. Um, so Shmurma Berber says, uh, will this be for all purchases going forward? Not necessarily, as Diego pointed out, this is something we're trying out. Um, and to his point, the fact that these are all standard figures, because that's another point, by the way, for that $75, one of them's not going to be a Legion builder. So you're not going to get a $26 yeah. Legion builder that brings down the value. These are all standard figures. So mm -hmm. what you are getting are two standard figures. Um, yeah. Because there's no horses and ogres in two packs, when you start getting into that kind of size disparity, it's really hard to come up with a price that makes it feasible. Um, we also don't want to just increase the price of the toys and kind of roll shipping into that. We've worked hard to keep the price of the toys consistent for many, many years. So this is something we're experimenting. 
If it goes well, we may see it on future sales. Will we see it on every sale? That really remains to be seen. Um, someone asking, if we order multiple boxes, will they be in their own boxes within the shipping box? No, we're calling them mystery boxes as a sense of just the name of the item. But if you order three mystery boxes, six figures, Diego, it's going to be six figures in a box, correct? Yeah, it's going to be six, that amount of figures in one box. It's it's not individual boxes of two figures packed in one larger box. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, it's, it's just for convenience sake, obviously. Yeah. And uh, to make the shipping as accurate as possible. Yeah. So here's a question that we didn't address, Diego. Um, if someone places an order for three boxes, six figures, will they get six unique figures or are they going to potentially get duplicates? So we are going to try our best and we have a lot of figures to choose from mm -hmm. uh, to make sure you get unique figures for every mystery box you order within one order. Um, it's important that it's all in one order. If you have five different mystery boxes ordered, but over five separate orders, yeah, you can't make this guarantee because it's just too much for us to keep track of. Um, plus, you know, you don't want to do that because you'll lose money on shipping if you have five separate orders. Make yeah. one big order with everything with that flat rate, nine ninety nine shipping, and we're gonna do our absolute best to make sure you get no duplicates. Uh, we can't a hundred percent guarantee it because sometimes. The secondary characters, you know, we might not have enough uh, to ensure it. But, I mean, as you see, we have 36 figures up here. If you ordered 36, yeah, there's a, a good chance you'll get a duplicate at a certain point. But uh, for sure, for the most part, you should be fine. You should be able to get uh, unique figures if yep. you order multiple boxes in one order. Yep. So someone, and this is good. If I buy 3,600, can I get 100 of each? No, you can't because most of the figures on this list, we don't have 100 of. There's yeah. a lot of figures, as I mentioned, a lot of these are warehouse finds. There are some figures on this list that we have single digits of. We have less than yeah. 10. Most of them we have less than a case of. So there's that's one of the reasons why I mentioned at the top of the show here that we decided to go this route is so many of these have such limited quantities that if we just put them online with those quantities, it would be a recipe for disappointing so many people because they would get it in their cart, think they're about to check out and they'd get car jacked. And we want to avoid that whenever possible. So if you ordered that 3,600 boxes, you would not get a hundred of each and you won't get all unique because that's an incredibly large amount. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be an incredibly large order for only $9.99 <laughs> shipping. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ish is asking if we have an approximate guess and foresee how long it may take to ship these mystery boxes. So I know the warehouse the team, they're already getting ready. You know, Cookie and his crew, they're hard at work getting ready for this sale. One of the nice things about this, Diego, that you and I had talked about is – because of that lack of disparity, they're all the same size. And because they're all blind boxes, this is something we're hoping to get out pretty quickly. Talk a little bit about what you yeah. think on the shipping. What are we thinking? Well, you know, again, this is just estimates. Can't hold me 100% to it. But we are very optimistic about getting this done uh, in within possibly two weeks uh, of it starting. Uh, it's a very straightforward packing scenario. And the fact that it's random figures, it expedites it even further. Uh, you know, a lot of time, it, it, a lot of time uh, gets used picking and packing orders and making sure everything's, you know, correct. And, and it takes our guys time to do that. Yeah. And also to pack different sized figures that, that really does slow down the process when a guy's got a troll, an ogre, a horse, three standards and a legion builder and mm -hmm. our shipping guys are like okay what box does this go into um yep. it's a puzzle every time yeah so yep. uh this is going to be quick and easy um you know the the latter half of even the in stock sale was was just standard figures at the end and 
by the time we got to that point, we started flying even further with uh, with shipping. So, yeah. you know, I'm very optimistic uh, and our guys are working hard and uh, I think they can get it done fairly quickly. So you don't have to worry. There, there won't be a huge uh, delay between when orders are placed and when they go out. Uh, you'll likely get them fairly soon. Yeah, this is a very different sale than the in-stock sale we just did um because of the amount of skews in that while this has a ton of figures because they're all the same and we know that a number of these figures on here are such limited quantities so it's not going to be the same kind of sale um one thing i do want to answer <clears throat> a number of people have asked what the new figures will be um i did see somebody else ask about legion builders <clears throat> i mentioned a few minutes ago they will not be legion builders you're going to get two standard figures Current waves are going to be things probably like All Stars Five. There's going to be some from that. Um, I don't know. I mean, maybe some Poxes. Poxes is very, very new. We might not go in there, but it's some newer stuff like that. Um, one thing we're going to avoid doing too is the figures we just had in the in stock sale, like the Vorgus Two and the Walter and stuff. We just had those up. We're not going to include any of those. We just know that people just had access to those. So we're going to look and see what we have. There's some other figures too. We might still have some Olithia Wave figures that are bouncing around. So we're not really saying what the newer figures will be because we're just going to pull that out of our current show stock for current, like more newer figures. But rest assured, you're going to get two standard figures, no Legion Builders in this. Yeah, 100%. Awesome. Um, yeah, yeah, we're we're excited, and you know, by looking at the chat, looks like everybody's excited too. Yeah, it does. It, it does. I I have seen some comments here, and I don't want to go too deep into this, Eric, but we have had some questions from people asking if the mystery boxes are going to impact or eliminate the All Star vote for this year. I mean, this is the time of the year where normally we would be doing an All Star vote. Um, Obviously, we're seeing a lot of reissues of older figures in this. And over the last few years, we've kind of moved around All-Stars a little bit. With this being the 10-year anniversary, we're kind of throwing everything into the mix. And we're changing things up to you know do some new things, to be some surprises. Um, I think, Eric, it's fair to say we're going to see some changes with All-Stars and version twos of figures this year. Would you agree? For, for sure. Yeah. I mean, that's every year, especially for, I don't know, maybe the past three or four years, you know, we see the excitement of, of course is still always there for all stars. Um, but you know, we're, we're seeing like the number of figures that we feel comfortable putting up for all stars, you know, those numbers dwindling down a little bit. Um, and, you know, for various reasons and largely like what we talked about is, you know, we don't want to put out an all star of a character that, you know, maybe within the year we want to do a 2.0. Of. Sure. Yep. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, we're, we're just kind of reevaluating a, a lot of, of I, I would I definitely would not say all stars it would be is gone. Um, it's just kind of at this point, it's a bit of a reshuffling. And, and, and going back to these particular characters here, you know, like I said earlier, it's a lot of characters here that, you know, wouldn't just haven't been close enough on the vote that, mm -hmm. you know, but a lot of people still want, you know, a lot yeah. of people are paying heavily for it. They just never quite make the cut. So it's a little bit, it's a way to get some of those figures out there, but then also in regards to our 2.0, um, situation these doing these characters you know where it may be a case of figures that are going to go out or a, you know a, a small batch of the characters that are going to go out that doesn't cancel out a 2.0 yeah. possibility the same way that doing you know taking a full order for figures and doing a, a full scale run would yeah um, so this is yeah i mean this is it's allowing us to try some different things and then, you know, reevaluate how to, to move forward and, and just keep in mind, I mean, we're only in April and this is, you know, this is our, our multiple anniversary year. So, 
um, there's a lot of cool stuff yeah. that we have, you know, yet to show and yet to announce. And so, um, you know, everybody's only seeing part of the picture right now. Absolutely. And with that, guys, Eric, I think we'll we'll revisit this conversation around all stars reissues version twos and all of this let's revisit that you know down the road just a little bit because for now i want everyone to bask in the awesomeness of the mysteries of mythos if you're just tuning in we'll recap very quickly check out our social channels because we're going to have all of this the mysteries of mythos these blind box surprise packages they will go up for sale on storehorseman.com Next Monday, that's April 22nd at 11 a.m. Eastern time. For $75, you're going to get two figures. You're going to get one of the Chase figures shown here on this list in this graphic. You're guaranteed to get one of these. You're also going to get another standard figure from a newer wave. Something old, something new to really show you kind of the, the history of the line that it's happened over the years. Um, another cool thing we're doing with this that Diego told us about is as part of this, we are testing out flat rate shipping. So regardless of where you are in the United States, this is only for domestic orders. You will have an option to do $10 or $9 and 99 cent flat rate shipping, regardless of how many mystery boxes you get in one order. Um, super excited about this guys. And it's, it's nice to finally be able to reveal this after two weeks of teasing everybody. I know I feel relieved. Are you guys excited for this? I'm very, um, yeah. yeah. And it's nice to have it out in the open. Yeah, yeah, it's like after, after, you know, such a long time of planning and all that, you know, well, and then after two weeks of speculation, you know, that then the fear becomes, <laughs> You know, yeah, everyone really want, yeah. out there. We don't want to, you know, we don't want people <laughs> to be disappointed. So um, that's good to, to kind of, you know, break break the seal on this. And yeah, there's someone out there that is excited for these figures, but really wanted that quilt. That's like, well, this is cool, <laughs> but if it would have been a quilt. So, so with that, guys, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you to everyone in the chat that is joined um and check this out uh remember next monday mysteries of mythos we'll see you then bye everyone Take bye <laughs>